ask, we need to calculate the expression which we have on the board. Tangent of 180 over 24 multiplied by tangent of 3 times 180 over 24 multiplied by tangent of 5 times 180 over 24 multiplied by tangent of 7 times 180 over 24 multiplied by tangent of 9 times 180 over 24 times tangent of 11 times 180 over 24 and finally times tangent of 16 times 180 over 24. First we should recall a couple of simple formulas. There is the one stating that tangent, let me write it in red, tangent of x is actually the same as the cotangent of 90 minus x. By the way, we should note that all the angles here are measured in degrees. And the same we have here, 90, 90 degrees minus x. And then there is another formula according to which tangent of x multiplied by cotangent of the same argument, cotangent of x, yields 1. So let's take a close look at the first factor. Tangent of 180 over 24. This argument can be reduced to over 12 or 90 times 1 twelfth. Let's now take a look at this factor. Tangent of 11 times 180 over 24, which can also be reduced, so we'll have tangent of 11 times 90 over 12, or <coughs> tangent of 90 multiplied by 11 twelfths. Keeping in mind this first formula, we can say that it's actually the same as the cotangent of 90 degrees minus this argument, minus 90 times 11 twelfth. Tangent of ninety times one minus eleven twelfth, which is cotangent of ninety times one twelfth. You could notice that these arguments are the same, so multiplying this tangent and this cotangent will give us 1. So, we now know that this factor multiplied by this factor give us 1. So tangent of 180 over 24 times tangent of 180 of 
11 times 180 over 24 is 1. Let's now have a look at these two factors. Similarly, we can show that multiplying these two, we will also obtain 1. Let's see. Tangent of 3 times 180 over 24. Which is the same as tangent of 90 times 3 twelfth. And this other one is tangent of 9 times 180 over 24, or tangent of 90 times 9 twelfth, which is equal to cotangent of 90 minus this argument, and we'll have this argument, 90 times 3 twelfth. Obviously, multiplying these two according to this formula will give us another one. So we can write this down either. So we have this tangent of 3 times 180 over 24 and we multiplied it by tangent of 9 times 180 over 24 and we obtained another one. Again, similarly, if we look at these two factors we will also see that multiplying them will give us another one. So, I'll just write it down without, without further explanation. So, I'll have tangent of 5 times 180 over 24 times tangent of 7 times 180 over 24. And we have another one. So basically, this whole expression is equal to 1. Where do I put this? Which leaves us with this last tangent.